All right. 3D printing. Everybody's heard about it, right? But get this, we're not talking about those little plastic trinkets anymore. We're talking about printing body parts. Like mm-hmm. actual teeth. Yeah, it's really incredible what we can do now. Like, remember how dentures used to be? Oh, man, those clunky things. Exactly. But now, with 3D printing, we're creating implants that are practically identical to real teeth. Mm-hmm. Even better, custom made for each person. We've actually got a ton of research right here about how this is all possible. So no more one-size-fits-all solutions. That's got to be a game changer for dentistry. Oh, absolutely. I mean, think about it. Before, you get an implant, and it's this whole big thing. Surgery, adjustments, discomfort. But 3D printing. We can basically take a scan of your jaw and print out a perfect match. So less time in the dentist chair. Sign me up for that. <laughs> But it's not just about being comfy, right? Yeah. I was reading about all these different types of 3D printed implants. One stage, two stage, what's the difference? It's all about how they actually get put in and how long it takes for them to like fuse with the bone. That two stage embedded one is really cool. Imagine building a house, right? Yeah. You lay the foundation and let it settle before building the rest. So you're saying it's about stability over time. Exactly. You let that implant really become part of the jaw before putting the crown on top. Studies show it can actually heal something like 30% faster than the older types of implants. Faster healing means less discomfort, better results. It's a total win for the patient. 30% faster. Wow, that's huge. Okay, so we've got the perfect fit, quicker healing. What else is 3D printing doing for dental implants? Materials are a big thing. We all know titanium has been the go-to, but now with 3D printing, we can use stuff like zirconia, even bioglass. Bioglass. Okay, now that one I haven't heard of. It's amazing stuff. And it's not just about finding stuff that your body won't reject. Bioglass actually helps you heal. Like it releases these ions that tell your body, hey, grow more bone here. Wait, so the implant itself is helping my body heal faster and better. That's wild. That's the idea. It's not just sitting there. It's an active part of the healing process. And honestly, we're just scratching the surface of what this tech can do. Okay, so 3D printing is totally changing how we do teeth. But what about the rest of the body? That's where bioprinting comes in, right? Printing actual living tissues. Sounds kind of crazy. Yeah, it's futuristic, but it's becoming very real. (laughs) It's like taking those 3D printing ideas and using them to make, well, parts of us. Instead of plastic, we're using cells. Exactly. Imagine a 3D printer, but instead of ink, it uses this stuff called bioink. It's got living cells in it, often stem cells, all mixed with this material that's like a scaffold they can grow on. Stem cells, those are the ones that can become anything, right? Like bone, muscle, all that. Yep, they're like the blank slates of the body. So we're not just printing a shape, we're printing something that can actually grow and become real tissue. Wow, okay. That's pretty wild. A lot of what we've been reading focuses on bone regeneration. How does it actually work? So let's say you've got like a bone defect injury, disease, whatever. We scan it, get a perfect model. Then the 3D printer uses this special bone bioink layer by layer. Like building a house of bone, but super tiny. Exactly. And get this, those stem cells are smart. They sense where they are and start turning into like actual bone cells. The scaffold thing eventually just dissolves away and you're left with new healthy bone. So no more bone grafts or huge surgeries, just print a new bone and you're good. Well, it's not quite that easy yet. It's still early days for bioprinting. We need the right kind of stem cells, the perfect bioink recipe. You gotta make sure it all works with your body. There's a lot to figure out. Still sounds like the future though. Imagine just printing a new bone if you break one. Absolutely. Or replacing bone loss to cancer. This could be huge for how we treat all kinds of bone problems. It's crazy to think we could just, like, print out replacement parts for ourselves. Uh, And it's not just bone. Skin grafts, new cartilage, even little models of organs to test medicines on. The possibilities are insane. Speaking of insane, what's the deal with these tiny robots I keep hearing about? The ones that use actual cells to move. Is that real life? Oh, yeah, that's biorobotics. Yeah. We're talking seriously tiny robots, often 3D printed. And they use living cells as their engine, basically. How how do you even make a robot out of cells? There's a few ways, but one is using muscle cells. They can actually print those onto these tiny little scaffolds. So like building microscopic muscles on a robot skeleton. Pretty much. And just like our muscles, these tiny ones contract and relax. How do you even control a muscle that small? Do you give the robots tiny dumbbells? It's wild. They use electrical pulses, sometimes even light. By controlling that, they can make the bio-robots move in different ways. Microscopic robots moving because of living cells inside them. That's unbelievable. What could we even use them for? Think about it. Robots that small could deliver drugs right to a tumor, 
clean out clogged arteries, maybe even do surgery on a cellular level, and all without those big invasive procedures we do now. It's mind-blowing. Microscopic surgeons delivering drugs exactly where they need to go. It feels like with 3D printing, the sky's the limit for medicine. But when we're talking about printing bones and building tiny robots, I mean, where do we even draw the line? It's amazing. But don't we have to, like, think about where this is all going? That's the big question, right? We're not quite at the point of just printing out a heart or anything, but it's moving fast. So, yeah, we got to be thinking about the implications of all this. What are some of the things we need to be careful of as this technology keeps getting better? Well, one of the biggest things is who gets to benefit from it, right? Yeah. I mean, we don't want a future where only certain people can afford to have a new bone printed or whatever. These treatments have to be available to everyone. Makes sense. It shouldn't matter how much money you have. Everyone deserves access to these kinds of breakthroughs. Absolutely. And the research has got to keep up, too. Like anything new... We need to make sure it's safe and actually works in the long run. It's a process. So proceed with caution, but also with that goal of making it accessible to everyone. There's a lot to think about, that's for sure. It is, but it's also incredibly exciting. I mean, think about it. No more waiting lists for organ transplants, medicine designed just for you based on your genes, maybe even, I don't know, creating new life for specific purposes. Okay, now that's both amazing and a little bit... Uh intense <laughs> it's powerful stuff no doubt but i'm optimistic if we do it right think about all the good we can do healthier lives a better future for everyone totally agree and it sounds like we're only just getting started oh yeah this is just the tip of the iceberg yeah who knows what we'll be printing a few years from now so there you have it we've gone from the dentist's chair to like the future of medicine all thanks to 3d printing it's pretty incredible what humans can come up with isn't it always pushing the limits of what's possible. We've talked about custom implants that help you heal faster, printing living tissues, even those microscopic robots that use cells to move. Wild stuff. And that's just what we know now. Imagine what's next. So if you're as blown away by all this as we are, go check it out. Learn more about 3D printing and how it's changing the world. And that's it for us this time. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the future of healthcare.